Hey, this is Ralph, and in this video, I want to use Excel, particularly I want to use an if function to calculate a bonus based on amount of time spent on a particular activity. Okay, so this situation came up for me pretty recently in a class where um, some students are using some software and it keeps track of their minutes spent on using this program. And I wanted to apply an effort bonus to students that had spent more than 20 hours of work up to a bonus of five. So came up with kind of a wacky formula, but basically I want to take their number of minutes or basically their number of hours over 20 divided by two and that's going to be the bonus with a max of five. But whenever we're doing something like this in Excel, you always want to try to write the function in one way for one particular row or record and then be able to fill that down so that it's going to be true and accurate for everybody else. So that's what I want to tackle here. Now I've already done this once, but let's go ahead and pretend that this column C doesn't even exist. In fact, I am going to delete, or actually hide that column, and let's see how we can work this together. I'm going to zoom in just a little bit more here, so that way everything is nice and easy to see. A little bit more. And I'm going to go ahead and click on the cell. In fact, I'll just go ahead and write bonus up here. This is going to be the cell next to one of the students. So. I'm going to start off with basically a simple calculation here, and I'm going to kind of edit this a couple times so we can make sure we understand the, prog the process. So first, if I know the number of minutes, I should be able to divide this by 60, and that's going to give me the number of hours. So since in order to get a bonus, you have to have at least 20 hours or at least more than 20 hours, we know that the student one is not going to be getting any kind of bonus because they have spent under 20 hours. And of course, if I were to fill this down, we can start to see that, okay, there are some students that had more than 20 hours um, and quite a few that had under 20 hours. All right, so that, that formula is going to come in handy. Basically, their amount of minutes divided by 60 to get the number of hours. Fair enough. I'm going to go ahead and delete that. But really, I want to use an if function because I don't want to display a number for any students that had under 20 hours. So I'm going to start off with an if function. And with my if function, I have three arguments that I'm going to work with. The logical test, what if it's true, and what if it's false. So the logical test is going to be, is the student's total minutes greater than 1,200, which is the number of minutes in uh, 20 hours. So simply 20 times 60. Now that's either a true or false scenario. If it's true, then there's going to be a bonus. And I'm for the short term, I'm just going to go ahead and put in equals or quotation, bonus quotation to display that text. Now if their effort minutes are not greater than 1,200, that means they spent less than 20 hours, I'm just going to put in an empty set of quotes, which will produce a blank or null cell. And I'll just press Enter. And then I can autofill this down so that I can see some students will be getting a bonus and obviously other students will not. So now that I know that this if function is working accurately, I can focus my attention on the calculation that needs to take place for students that get a bonus. So displaying the word bonus was simply a short term uh, test to make sure my if function is working. My if function is working. So instead of displaying that word, I'm going to start to run uh, a calculation. Basically, I'm going to take their minutes worked minus 1,200 to get the number of minutes over 20 hours. Now I want to display this in hours, so I'm going to take those minutes and divide it by 60. I don't want the answer in minutes. I want it the answer in hours. And then I'm further going to take this formula, and I notice I'm putting parentheses around it, and I'm going to divide that by 2. So basically I'm taking their time in minutes, dividing it by 60 to get their time in hours, and then dividing that number by 2. And then I'll press Enter. Of course, nothing for this first student. Autofill it down. And here we go. So I can start to see bonuses. However, there's one extra little caveat to this. The maximum bonus is going to be five. A student cannot have a bonus greater than five. And I have a couple students that are above that. So I'm going to modify this formula just a bit so that no number higher than five will display. And for that, I'm going to go to my value of true scenario here. And right at the very beginning, 
I'm going to put a min function in, min with an opening parentheses. And then I can go to the end of this, type a comma. Now keep in mind, the comma I just typed is the second argument of my min function. And I'm going to put in 5 and then closing parentheses. So this can look kind of tricky here. But basically, I have a min function. The min is going to be one of two things. It'll either be the calculation or it'll be 5. It certainly can't be higher than 5 now because I'm going to get the minimum of these two scenarios. So I'm going to press Enter. No change there. Autofill down. And we'll see that now student 5 has a uh, 5 for a bonus, and of course student 17 has a 5 for a bonus because it can't go higher than 5. So just as a quick recap, I used an if function. If the student's minutes are greater than 1200, then they're going to get a bonus. The bonus is going to be the minimum of one of two things. It's either going to be 5 or it's going to be the more common smaller number which is the student's minutes minus 1,200 minutes, which is 20 hours. That's going to give me excess minutes, divide it by 60 to convert it into hours, and divide it into 2 in order to get the correct bonus amount. Now, of course, if a student did not have minutes greater than 1,200, I'm simply displaying an empty cell. That is the end result. And now I have the accurate effort bonus for each student that earned one. Take care.